Hi, I'm Zach Farmer with examiner.com. Well, the WCC quarterfinals are now set. You have BYU against San Diego, and then Santa Clara taking on LMU. And LMU is the most unlikely of teams here at this point. They are the nine seed, and they've already beaten the eight seed Portland and the fifth seed San Francisco to get to this point. And what's even more, that 115 team from the regular season, that LMU team, their one win in the regular season came against, guess who, Santa Clara. So this is going to be a big test for not only LMU, but also Santa Clara. LMU is coming in with all of this momentum, and all, a lot of it is coming from the offensive side of the ball. They finally get consistent contributions from players other than Anthony Ireland. They're getting Ashley Hamilton involved. You're getting Godwin Okanji involved. You're getting Taylor Walker involved. You're getting other guys involved in this offense, and that's the one thing that proved over the last couple nights works for the Lions. Now, Santa Clara is one of the streakier teams in this league, especially when it comes to shooting. There are nights they could shoot 35% from the field, but then there are nights they could shoot 50% from the field, and it all really de depends on how they shoot the three. And that's going to be Kevin Foster, Raymond Cowles, and Evan Rockmore, and even Mark Trasolini from time to time. This is a team that relies heavily on the three, and if they're on, they should have no problem beating LMU. But if they are off, this could be a tough struggle, and you could see a nine seed ending up in the WCC semis against Gonzaga. Now, BYU and San Diego are facing each other for the second time in as many years in the WCC quarterfinals. And last year, it was a tough matchup for BYU, and they just got by San Diego. Now, fast forward to the regular season, the two teams split their matchups, and San Diego taking the most recent one down at Jenny Craig Pavilion. And that, once again, happened with a lot of their guard play. This is what San Diego has to rely on. It has to be Johnny D, Chris Anderson, and what they'll actually have back this time around is the addition of Mike Davis, who missed the last game against BYU. He is a physical presence at the guard position that they were missing and have been missing for the last month and a half. If San Diego is going to beat BYU, they're going to have to get guard play and have contributions from their bench. For BYU, it's really going to come down to keeping Brandon Davies out of foul trouble, keeping him on the floor. We'll also be getting Matt Carlino to give them something consistent and not turning the ball over, which has been an issue from time to time. If he can be a true point guard, control the game, and limit his turnovers, BYU should have no problem moving on to the semis against St. Mary's. I'm Zach Farmer with examiner.com.